it's true that the smartwatches can be expensive if you go with the more popular brands like Apple, Garmin or Samsung. Fine. But the value can be found too, if you know where to look. I found the new P36 budget smartwatch which provides a real quality without a price tag. Welcome back, it's Adam from Family Pop TV. Stay with me if you want to find out more. Today we will test and review the new P36 budget smartwatch which is basically an upgraded version of another extremely popular budget smartwatch called P22 which is one of the top budget sellers on Amazon these days. The P36 has a sporty design with a zinc alloy body and a glossy finish. It's got a light PC ABS material on the bottom cover. Here we got a PPG sensors and here are the magnetic charging pins. It has a single physical button on the side which does switch the display, returns to the previous menu and turns the watch on and off. Overall, it looks classy with its rounded corners. It's a bit bulky in my opinion but looks premium. The display, it's a 1.69 inch color IPS LCD rectangular screen display with 240 by 280 pixels resolution. The display produces sharp, bright and pretty vivid image and it has 6 degrees of brightness. The screen would definitely benefit if the manufacturer would upgrade it with the anti-fingerprint nano coating, however it's protected by a tempered glass. Well, I didn't test it by dropping it face down. Well, yet. The P36 has a removable silicone strap with stainless steel buckle. You can replace the straps with any strap of your choice as long as it's a standard 20mm strap. I'll show you on how to replace the straps at the end of this video. It looks good and it's having an IP67 waterproof rating so no worries about getting it wet while washing your hands or taking a bath. We have performed a simple waterproof test as many of you have been asking in the comments in the previous videos. Are these watches really waterproof? Well, let's check this out. To recap, IP67 means the unit can be dropped into a body of water up to a meter deep for about half an hour so you can scuba diving with your P36 but you can paddleboard, kayak, run in heavy rain and shower with full confidence that water won't damage your watch and it's obviously dust proof. The P36 being sold under several brands worldwide the most popular are Donatin, Motest, Hyperaged, Bakey, Alcohol, Chal, Gulu, Gearvita, FZXL, Gringer, LDJ, Will Gallop, Hong Dali, Mi Echo Chain, Skiering and many more generic brands. Despite being sold under various brands, colors and under various prices, this is still the same P36 watch inside. P36 is available in several color options which are black, grey and pink. Prices can vary depending on your choice of brands and colors and country you're in. The price range is between 30 to 50 British pounds, 42 to 55 American dollars and 26 to 49 euros. If you're thinking about getting one, there's an Amazon affiliate link in this video description where you could find one for the fair price. The smartwatch runs on a low energy consumption Nordic 52A32 processor designed to carry out increasingly complex tasks in the shortest possible time and return to sleep conserving precious battery power. The P36 uses the Hero Bands 3 companion app that you install on your phone which is where you set and control most of the watch functionality. You'll have to scan a QR code with your smartphone to get to the Apple Store or Google Play. The QR code can be found in the manual or in the menu of P36. Once you open the app, the pairing will be performed automatically once you confirm the P36 in device selection. At this point the time is being synced automatically with your phone. 
Here in the app you will get some nice graphs of your activities, set alarms, set your goals, notification, etc. And it gives you total control on everything the P36 has to offer. It has an overall nice layout and items are arranged in a logical way. You're not hunting around for a mislabeled function. P36 has got basic health monitoring features. The first widget in the menu once you'll swipe up is a pedometer, or step counter if you like, which also counts the calories burned and the travel distance. The next widget is a sleep tracker, which measures your sleep duration, deep sleep ratio and awake duration. By the way, this is one of the few budget watches which can track your sleep pretty well. It doesn't matter if you sleep in the night or during the day after your night shift. I have checked P36 in all situations and it actually does a pretty good job. I like it. Let's get to the next widget which is a heart rate monitor. We have compared the heart rate readings from our P36 with a medical pulse oximeter which has got a high accuracy of heart rate measurements as well as blood oxygen saturation level. As you can see, the P36 performs pretty good. The heart rate is pretty accurate. However, I have discovered when doing exercises, the heart rate measurement starts to fluctuate a bit and P36 is losing its accuracy. Well, at this end, it isn't a medical device, so the readings are basically for reference only. Let's get to the next widget, which is a training. You can easily keep track of these 8 sport modes to monitor your workouts and exercises accordingly, which is walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, football and swimming. Unfortunately, the P36 hasn't got a GPS on board, but you can track your position during workouts via the app, which uses your phone's GPS. The next widget is a blood pressure monitor. The measurement takes around 30 seconds, then the results being displayed on the screen. Blood pressure readings contains of two readings. The first number, called systolic blood pressure, measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats. The second number, called diastolic blood pressure, measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart rests between beats. Here's a tracking of SpO2, also known as oxygen saturation, which is a measure of the amount of oxygen carrying hemoglobin in the blood relative to the amount of hemoglobin not carrying oxygen. The body needs there to be a certain level of oxygen in the blood or it will not function efficiently. Next we get weather. It pushes the weather info from your phone. To use this function, the watch has to be connected with your phone. And your phone needs an access to the internet, of course. The brief widget on P36 encourages you to set aside a few minutes a day to relax and focus on your breathing. Simply open the brief widget, tap start, inhale slowly as the animation grows, then exhale as it shrinks. Let's try it. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Simple. The P36 smartwatch is equipped with push notification features, all incoming text messages and social apps messages, as well as notifications about an incoming calls are supported. You can't pick up the incoming call, you could only drop it. To see the incoming messages, just swipe from the main screen to the left. It will work only when your watch is connected with your smartphone via Bluetooth. If you would swipe to the right from the main screen, you got here a few more features, such as camera trigger function, pressing a red button on a watch display will trigger the photo mode on your phone. I don't use it personally, but surely it come handy in some situations. Bluetooth music control player, pause or switch to the next music on your mobile phone. With this feature, you could control the volume. It also shows you the name of the track on the screen. Another useful feature, a timer. 
can be found here in the watch menu. Non-disturb mode and full reset and power off buttons are located at the bottom of the watch menu. P36 has some degree of customization. You can pick and download a selection of available watch faces through the companion app. You can also create your own customized watch face using any photo or image from your smartphone as a background. Scale it and crop it and here you go, it's being sent to the watch almost instantly. Now this is an example of a custom watch face. If you create your own watch face or download the watch face from the app selection, you could only store one watch face in the smartwatch at the time. To quickly change the watch face, just press and hold it for about 3 seconds and then choose between 4 factory watch faces and your customized one. In the app there are two functions I absolutely love which is the activity reminder when I spend too much time sitting by the desk and the drink reminder as often I just forget to hydrate myself throughout the day. I just can't live without these two simple reminders. P36 has got a 200 mAh lithium polymer battery which as manufacturer states allows you to use the watch for 5 to 7 days between the charging assuming you'll use the watch heavily every day. If you would use the watch without a constant connection with the smartphone, that's what I do, the battery will last up to 30 days but this obviously depends only on how much you use the screen. Full charge takes about 1.5 hours. I'm impressed! And now I'll show you on how to replace the straps. Pull this little pin here and then you pull the strap away from the watch. And to put it back or replace it with a new strap, you just have to reverse the steps. Pull the pin, it clicked and you're good to go. Very simple and straightforward. P36 has a standard 20mm straps and hinges, so you could try on any straps of any colours as long as they are 22mm. If you're thinking about buying this one, there's an Amazon link in the video description when you could find it for the fair price. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it pretty informative. Please show us some love and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing to Family Pop TV.